Alrighty, everyone. This is Kurt Hansen. I'm the ruler of Dogtown, and I'm in love with my own face and voice. I am the law in Dogtown. You gotta do what I say. And I welcome you back to Phantom Liberty. A game where you pretend to be an FIA agent. White out. Anyway, welcome to Cyberpunk. Dogtown edition. Or maybe it's full of puppies. Maybe, maybe there's puppies in Dogtown. Anyway. Uh, to, today. Today I'll make a little bit more progress on the uh, main story. Because I want to do the next uh, quest. So I can get the iconic unity. I think maybe I get that after the next quest. I'm not positive on that. And I want to do some more um, gigs and side quests in Dogtown. Okay. Uh, before we get started here, I have done more exploring. I've done more kit, more stuff. Um, I look like a complete gonk right now. Very hi highly visible gonk, just for messing about in Dogtown. <laughs> um, but hey, look what I got. I got two QBs now. So I got the QB X mod. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I found this. It was in... There's like a pool, a pond or something that's kind of... It's somewhere around here, I think. But you go to that pond, it's a round pond. And you dive into it and it's super deep. You swim all the way to the bottom and you'll find the uh, QB X mod at the very bottom. So I got that. You know, it's pretty decent. I put a couple, slapped a couple mods on here. And I have this set up as, I don't know, just a regular rifle. I switched up the Hawk to be more of a silenced rifle because it has the higher headshot damage than the regular, than this QB, so... I'm kind of playing around with those here. And is there anything else? Oh, I drive all of my Iconics out because I was working on collecting crafting materials to upgrade all of them. <laughs> I want to get these all up to Tier 5. So that's why I have these. Not really going to use them, but I just want to bring them up to Tier 5. Oh, I did get Sovereign up to Tier 5. You know, I'm not really going to use Sovereign, so I might put it back in the stash, you know. Let's put Sovereign back. Yeah, okay. I did find a few more um, iconic weapons. I got Sparky. Another uh, sniper rifle. It's okay. I used it for a little bit. Overwatch is probably still the far superior option. It's supposed to deal electrical damage, but it's, eh. it doesn't really seem that much more effective than a regular uh, rifle. And I got the Raiju, an iconic, um, fancy submachine gun. It's it's okay. It shoots very fast. And what else did I find? I uh, got the operation. I went ahead and bought it from uh, Harold. It's an okay gun. I'm not really a big fan of it. Oh, by the way, I noticed that death and taxes. Read the description on this thing. This used to be one of the top guns to use before 2.0. And now this is one of the worst guns in 2.0. Because <laughs> this gun actually hurts you when you use it. Before, I used to shoot two bullets in one shot, which made it super good for being a uh, silenced pistol. It was one of the best guns for that. Now, it actually hurts you when you use it, and doesn't have the split bullet thing anymore. So, it's actually a terrible gun now. 
<laughs> like, like, why would you use this? Debs. You done fucked it up. You fucked up the death and taxes gun. Why did you do that? <laughs> Nobody should use this gun now. You don't want to use a weapon that actually hurts the, the player character. That's just dumb. Um, what else was there? Was it? Oh, okay. I got the Leica. The Leica, okay. I know I said before that the uh, high gun was like the lesser... It was like the, 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 the cousin to the comrade's hammer. Leica is the brother-in-law to the comrade's hammer. <laughs> it's basically the comrade's hammer, but you have two shots and it does half the damage. So, there you go. But I still say Tiger is probably the better gun because it has 10 shots to it. And it's just e easier to use. Faster reload too. So, uh, was there anything else I found? I don't think so. But yeah, I think that's probably it. But yeah, the QB, the, um, the guns. That's what I found. Alright, anyway. Why is there another uh, thing over here? I keep finding stuff. I'm... Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get to... Um... Let's get the ground level here. Maybe change my outfit so I'm not so much of a weird gonk. Oh, I have this set up too. Tactical Soldier. You know what, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a side quest for me with that. But, I, I have really been become enamored with this expansion. <laughs> Just... I think it's the it's the appeal of finding a whole new area in Night City to explore. And and, and I you have to understand, this is probably like my fifth or sixth playthrough of this game. And even in the main game, there's still stuff I find that I didn't see before. I don't know if it's because of updates or stuff that I just didn't see in previous playthroughs, but there's always new things I'm finding in each playthrough. And I'm sure that's going to be the case for uh, Dogtown. There's going to be stuff I'm going to miss and find. Like, I know there's always, there's, I know of our, something already that I missed. Back when we first got the uh, Dogtown apartment with the president, there were these two lads that walked in in the door. I thought they were Vargas soldiers, so I went along with the president and uh, took them out. Turns out they weren't Vargas soldiers, they were just a couple of random gonks looking for a place to sleep. <laughs> and you can actually just talk, talk, to, talk to them and you can convince them to help out at the apartment. And they're actually pretty cool characters, and I feel kind of bad, but I, uh, I feel kind of bad, but I killed them. Oh well. I guess on the next playthrough, I will not kill them. But you know, that 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 was my thought process. I thought they were Vargas people, <laughs> so. so that's why I killed them. But apparently, I was mistaken. Something to check out next time I play. I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff I'm gonna miss. <laughs> while I'm playing, playing this, but you know what? It's the first playthrough. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play it by ear here. All right. Let's see what we got going on over here. And like I said, I got one rifle set for stealth, and the other for action. 
Let's see if I can take this person out. Quietly, where did I go? I'm out. I only want to talk. Promise. Now I admit that this thing is not quite as effective as a pistol headshot, since I got perks in the uh, perks in Dead Eye and Focus that will just one shot people with pistols, but don't quite have anything. Is it you? Sure. Huh? Well, is this sneaky Violet? What's that? But, you know, I think this gets the job done as a makeshift sniper rifle. I still got a bad feeling. I don't know what I'm looking at, you know. Intel didn't lie. Huh? This gear, what do you think it'll pull back and stay? What was that? that we have brought back the uh the scab music the scab music from the very beginning of the game what's that i'll kill you okay that didn't one shot him Switch to the other one. situation for a grenade. Are there still people out here? I took out everyone. Alright, let me collect weapons before I build in here.
Armory in the elevator, 2045. Zero four five. Remember that. We gotta check it out. I? I think you're right. Man, I hate this cow. Explosion of taste. Going on. Someone be prowling out here. Huh? Who's a shrinking violet? Is it you? behind it. I could have gotten him with that. Who's a shrink 
and violent. Is it you? Uh. Fucking watchman? Who's a shrinking violet? Is it you? Excellent. I'm out. I only want to talk. Promise. I only want to talk to you. But you don't see me revealing my position. everyone has spurred on the continued looting. Official figures estimate the net worth of Venetian sculptures and jewelry sold illegally on the black market would be equivalent to one third of the civilian economy. Most stolen wealth eventually find their way to collectors in private orbital stations. The body. I feel like I went in a circle, you know.
Oh, with a safe code. Oh, is this our number or I have to call? Okay, let me write that in. Two seven five three with zero zero five seven eight six. All right, boys and girls, get your notepads ready. And automated messages do not reply. Wait a minute, what? Oh, hold, hold on. Let me, let me caught you, rat. Here's what's gonna happen. You pay us ransom or we send your tomb back to you in pieces. First, we'll send the index finger so you can't know who's to blame for this, his death. And then his ear so you know what happens to those who don't listen to us. Last, we're gonna send you his dick. So we know we are not about to be sh shafted. You have until tomorrow to send us one million eddies. On Zayotech customer service. Dear sir, madam, thank you for your message. Our consultant will look into your inquiry and reply shortly. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. Sincerely, Zayotech customer service. Good. Ask your consultant if he thinks it's a fucking joke. It's not. One million eddies. Tomorrow. Sharp. Dear sir, madam, thank you for your message. Our consultant will look into your inquiry and reply shortly. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. Sincerely, City Tech Customer Service. Hey, and fucking hardball, motherfucker. Broken rank of treatment, huh? I know you're reading this, you fucking cocksucker. Fine, half a mil. File off from final warning. You'll see the eddies by tomorrow. I'm cutting off your finger, guys. <laughs> this dude is trying... To it. Try and try and blackmail an automated customer service bot. Uh, automated e email reply system. Now that's some pure gunk. <laughs> that's some real gunk shit there. No chasing ran out. <laughs> of course, you were talking to a. The email bot. <laughs> All right, okay. I, I meant that that, that, that. that was that was pretty funny. Where's this thing I'm looking for? Yeah, it's down here, I guess. Well, they really squ squirreled this thing away. Oh, who's this? You over here. <laughs> Was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics, huh? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh-huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. How'd they get the drop on you? Zeta Tech skimping on hustle now? It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. In Dogtown? Keeping your fangs to yourself is a sign of weakness here. Might as well have tagged Rob me on the transport. Let Zeta take to the lecturing, please. That is, if you get me out of here. So, what will it be? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs, M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. 
Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. Of course, no unless taken. Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Prototech's capricious. Erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet, the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Ah, let me reread re a little bit more here. Retrieve prototype implant and schematics. Okay, so really I just need to rescue the dude. Or I just take it or this ain't a rescue mark? We can't Not waste here time. To rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. Its condition? Whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Listen, I can show you where they're holding them. Fine, fine, let's get you out of here. Wonderful. I knew we'd come to an understanding. Yeah. Now, to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Hey, maybes. Already found it. Oh, that's the code. All right. Uh, 2753. Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that Harry? The man was a real prick, but this, it's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah. <sighs> Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. 
will vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. Okay. It's time we were on our way. Oh, there it is. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? <laughs> wow. We're lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. I mean, all I did was press a button. I could have done that. Should be safe here. Ah, <sighs> I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh, I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? <laughs> Must have had some kind of plan. I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush, well... Why are you so hell-bent on clipping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Oh, more in your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. <sighs> the sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it. The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. Wait, how in the hell do you think that was gonna go? I tell my fixer, sorry, shit out of luck, prototype bounced. Just say it got lost, moved, I don't know. I cut the signal. Your fixer can have the schematics. They're just as valuable. You connive and fuck. Should have schemed a little harder before you squirmed into a Sokka Zeta scavenger shit witch. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Hmm. I wonder what I should do here. Hmm. I am loyal to the job, though. Doing it my way. Call him my fixer. You, sit tight and shut up. Right. Okay. I beg you. Please don't send me back to the corp. We'll finish this another time. Hands. What? Uh. Such got tangled. Rescued a Zeta Tech hostage, sole survivor of a scav ambush. I see. 
This impedes your assignment how, exactly? Well, my Chum here planted the prototype in his eye socket. Gonna need a ride. Inconvenient, but not disastrous. Coordinates, please. His escort back to Zeta Tech will arrive shortly. Don't send him back to Zeta Tech. I'd like you to find him a mean chrome dock, extract the tech, and let him walk. I assume you have a kind benefactor in mind to sponsor your friend's operation. Come on, Hans. You gotta have some favor to call in. Won't cost you a damn any. True. Consider this a gesture of goodwill. A solid foundation for our mutual cooperation. I have to say, I'm intrigued, V. Is this man worth the effort? Know all too well what those Zeta pricks got in store for him. So I thought, you know what? Fuck him. Done and done. Up the core. Yep. I appreciate you having my back there. Truly. When in doubt, fuck, fuck the corpse. <laughs> UV. Hand sent me. Oh, why are you Here smoking? Right, so then what? Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig of the Black Sapphire. Lusting oh. to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as a okay. to, say, Conpecky Plaza. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation in Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. Okay, I mean, I got, I'm got i doing his gigs anyway. It's kind of weird if it just kind of popped up in the middle of the uh, job here. <laughs> but Alright, I mean, I was going to call him anyway about this thing anyway. I guess we'll just... The game just made me do it now. Think you can make this a quickie? It's a window I'm working with. If you want a smooth deal, the cogs must be greased. Bring me grease, V. All right. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. I'm oh so glad. Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, here you go. Cream. I'll take it from here. Hippie comments. Johnny. No, oh, see, I got three uh, things done right away. That was quick. Commendable work, V. My people will take it from here as per our agreement. Expect your compensation shortly. Hey, hold, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. The deal we just made. <laughs> Like 20 seconds ago. Be me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon. Oh, now I can meet Mr. Hands. Okay. Uh, elevator access code 2589. Okay. You got that, Johnny? Oh. He's gone.
I'm here. Uh, let's see, let's uh, get rid of some stuff here. Probably not. Let me at least look presentable when I walk in. They need to have music playing in here. There's no music and people are dancing. It doesn't. It doesn't add up. Oh, so it smell bad? Did he shoot up our fuel tanks again? Nah, just wipe down my two five eight. Give it an hour. Yes, I'm right. Now, I see. Uh, and what is it your mother can't help you with? Not, not to worry. I'll find him the moment I get home. Can that be our deal? You've my word, Sugar Bear. Yeah, I, I love you too. Bye-bye uh, now. So Mr. Ham's talking to his kiddo. How cute. Right. Ah, it isn't the Mr. Hands. My favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis a vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Come on, Hans. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect. To see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. You retrieve the Zeta Tech blueprints and the coveted prototype. Not all prove willing and able to follow through no matter the cost. I respect that. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown. Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Mm -hmm. Interesting motif in here. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. 
How will they solve your Hansen sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. Interest you in some tea? It's my own blend. Huh. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? Heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Hmm. It's all well and good shit, Shadden. But what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed. Yes. The Black Sapphire. Hanson stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate. And I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for. A token of my appreciation. Cool. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and... Say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. Yeah. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess, more local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, 
someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Be looking forward to those new gigs then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. All right. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive. Mm. Okay. You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. to meet the elusive Mr. Hands. He's a family man. And probably one of the nicer fixers we've met. <laughs> Alright, so we got the plans. I guess I need to contact Reed and tell him the good news. Reed, got the data shard from Hans. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send it to No worries. This connection is secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the Moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break here. How about that in a sec? In a stitch. Yeah. Okay, uh, my bike's still here? No. Oh, wait, yep, it is. I don't think I recognize 
I'm getting sick again. Sit down. How can I help? Really? Starting to get used to it. This the relic? Gets worse every day. Time I have left is evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but... Never know if the next one won't be my last. What, you think I'm not fit for duty? Wow, rough. Oh. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck, always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me, but sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. So I'm talking to a ghost. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, you said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. Why well, waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off? I was betrayed by our people, the FIA. I say betrayed, but I was sold out. Part of a deal, a peace offering, my head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I'm going to show you something. Hang on. They set you up. Yet here you are working for him again. Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually. Scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go. Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane to see some old junk. It is some cool stuff. I like cool stuff. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. It's been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. Or not. The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple others just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It 
it was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Not to everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. Yep. Probably had no choice. Did, didn't. It's irrelevant now. What happened, happened. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here. In this very room, in fact. He was guiding me on comms. Led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then... Interesting. She got yeah. a ticket home. And you're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. On the focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing can change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my is is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Fucking had it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one. The Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person. Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out over reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, little of this, little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? What's it matter? Gotta do what needs doing. References be damned. All right, a little sourpuss. Hey, I have a nice Managed outfit. to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned, though. Fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Sure. Hit me. Let me hear him. 
Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. What about Reed? Was just about to mention, he'll be there too, of course. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end, jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Yep. Yep. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Yes, show Take me the time. gear. Grab anything you think might be useful. Uh, everything awaits you in the box. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna take everything because I can use the crafting material. Ah. This your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. It'd be an honor. Take the magazines. Well. Nice. It's finally mine. Wish I could put a better scope on it, but. I can't upgrade it yet. I need a bit more. Oh yeah, I don't have enough stuff to upgrade this thing fully. Now I look like Mr. Agent Man. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Wanted to test the waters. Oh. See which way the Hang currents it. are flowing. Hanson's dominance over Dogtown doesn't benefit Hans know-how. So he's out to level the playing field. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while, and then meet you there. Hey. Okay. Place stinks of memories, huh? A little dusty, but well-preserved. What are we gonna do with it once I'm on the Riviera? Gonna lock yourself in here, fondle all this old dead tech till your balls shrivel up? Burn it to the ground's what we'll do. And never come back. Now that I like. Also, I, uh... There's a tarot card here. Some... Near friendly, okay. A swords. Nice. It's finally mine. This 
So 170% headshot damage multiplier. That is... That is quite high. Now I am... I am the special agent man. Alright. Alright, we'll probably do... You know what, we'll probably do that next time. No one even knows. Okay, well, there, let's do some, uh... There are some more quests I can do. Or gigs. V, there's a job. Brazilian intelligence contacted me. Two agents need assistance locating a missing person. There is, as always, a caveat. It seems they're operating without Papai's approval. Huh? What gun? Osaka Sales Department. Yeah. Uh, continue. Meaning what? Our clients are Brazilian intelligence agents acting without said agency's knowledge. Huh. How come? Now you overestimate my knowledge, V. You'll have to ascertain that for yourself. Best of luck. Okay. Find Mark Abana. And have fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is the map glitching out? Can't save. Welcome, welcome. I'm Steven Santos of the Brazilian Intelligence Agency. Yes, we got those processors tracked down. Name's V. No affiliation. Mm -hmm. We're negotiating. That so? Just a moment. We'll scan your details. Ooh, can't wait to see what you dig up. Hold still, please. Ah, so you were affiliated once. Arasaka Counterintelligence. Fired, effective immediately, no severance. Ouch. 
That must have hurt, huh? What sort of rookie-ass game are you two playing? Uh, <laughs> excuse me? You run a background scan before meeting anyone, let alone a merc. This your first assignment? <laughs> you, you don't know... We'll take him. V is pulling oh, no. rank here. <laughs> That's... The signal could die any minute. We don't have time to be picky. Take a look at the screen, V. Okay, I know. Ah, so you're the one in charge. Care to give me the deets now? You love prodding the hornet's nest, no? Good. So do we. This is Mark Benna. 37 years old. Worked at the agency for 12. Six feet tall. Brown hair. Well built. Combat trained. Banna went MIA in Dogtown six months ago. He sent one last call for help right before he vanished. Listen. <coughs> I'm here. To... Uh, fuck. They're coming for. Uh, uh, send you back up. Please. Please. Uh, his bio monitor began pinging a few days ago. The signal's coming from Dogtown. Seems mobile. Any questions? I didn't kill this dude already, have I? Look, this Banna guy. The recording's clear as day. Chum's gone. Why go after him now? What if he's not? No, we've got to check that signal. We owe him that much. You're a big orc. Got plenty of agents. Don't think you need my help here. We are, and we do. But our hands are tied. We'd risk an international incident sending spec ops in. Look, clearly your agency didn't greenlight this. Why are you still following through? Ah, I see Hans checked us out. Slimy Hans bastard. Hans is a pro. It's true. We're acting alone. Would you like to know why? When Benna went missing, the agency declared him KIA. His body has never been found. Then his signal returned. What did the agency say? Insufficient evidence. Our algorithms place his chances of survival at 4%. Fuck the algorithms. Principle, integrity, naivete. Call it what you will. They don't care. We do. Uh, something stinks. The agency's clearly trying to keep the banner biz under wraps. But why? Inconvenient, probably. Agencies, well, sometimes they'd rather not know things. At least not in any official capacity. Only two things matter here. First, Ben is our dear friend. Second, we hired you to check on his signal. Is that clear? We'll handle the eventual fallout. Any other fun surprises for me? Unfortunately, yes. Albana's signal is currently coming from Organitopia. The old natural history museum in Terra Cognita. Oh, I know where that is. The problem is, the scavengers are flocking to the signal like flies. And wait. There's another. The gang's with Boris Rybakov. An ex-Pet operative. That bastard killed enough people to fill a cemetery. So have I. Whatever you got. How'd the scavs trace the signal? We have no idea. So, scavs, ex Spetsnaz, Bioman has been dead for the past six months? Oof. No, we don't like it any more than you. Ribikov, anything I ought to know before I give him a warm Night City greeting? He's an elite sharpshooter. 167 confirmed kills. His cyberware includes ocular implants linked to his weapons enhanced targeting system. Reaction accelerators, adrenaline pumps. And you can add to that some experiments with Soviet tech. It seems he is able to hack his enemy's ocular wear. I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Okay, all clear. Guess I'll get to it. I'm sending you the cords. Anna will call once you lock in on the signal. Find Banner, please. Or at least that damned Bion monitor. See what I can do.
want to check something. I mean, this thing is supposed to have, it has a laser sight on it, but I, I guess it technically doesn't work. Because I've never seen a weapon with a laser sight in the game. That actually has a laser. It's a non-functioning laser sight. Let's think of it that way. Password. Know the password? No? Then scram. Password. Then Aqua Farm. What? Ah! What? I guess Aqua Farm was not the password. <laughs> Aqua Farm. Don't be sick, Victor. That dress from the sea, no good. Make you sick. This is where I need to be in. I have a perfectly good conscience. The bones of a T-Rex with cancer. This, this particular T-Rex had bone cancer. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I would rather be up here. For tactical advantage. Ah, oh, he saw me through the glass. Ah. Oh. Make decisions. Ah. I'll pull it together for fuck's sake! 
Taking the top route was a poor decision. Road was the uh, incorrect rate to go. <laughs> and he may can see me for the floor. <laughs> ah, well. At least now I know. You there? Yes, I'm talking to you. How are you getting what you want? See if we can find him first. Tag him.
Plesiosaur. Actually, no, it's not a Plesiosaur. I don't know what that is. Big dinosaur. Well, this dude's keeping himself well hidden. Yes, I'm just gonna have to go in there and deal with it. Oh, he just shows up. I 
gonna see body parts flying! Oh, you're fucked! <laughs> Hunter gun, hunter gun. Now it's another iconic uh, smart gun. Thanks to Boris's mods, the longest open fire is where the crypt chain. It has a silencer. Interesting. It's actually kind of interesting. It's actually kind of a neat idea. Put a holographic display around the skeleton. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Wait. Why aren't there people in here? Mosasaurus. Is a Mosasaurus. V. Anna here. You're approaching Benna's signal. I think the man's there too. Alive. What? Okay. I'll keep this channel open. Over. Uh, where is he? Explain why you're using Banner's voice. It's a voice changer implant. I had to be sure you'd come to help. Katya Karelina. Sav Oil. Formally. I need your agency's help. You're on comms with your people, yes? They hear you. Banner, where is he? That is no longer relevant. Banner is dead. Oh, so he was running from you. Zero him yourself? Listen to me. I fell out of favor at Savoyl. Now they're hunting me. Savoyl does not simply give up the hunt. Doesn't answer my question. I ran her scans, V. She's a data acquisition specialist. An interrogator. Another agent, right? A specialist. Interrogation. Got the feeling you and Banna cross paths. All right. We caught Banna in Dogtown. At first, we didn't know who he worked for. That became clear during questioning. 
I kept him alive, gave him treatment. But then later, it wasn't me. She's lying, V. New orders. Kill her like the beach dog she is and take the biomonitor. Over and out. Anna? Anna? Your people, what did they say? Brazil wants you dead. Guess who's gotta pull the trigger? What, what, what do we talk for? I have valuable data for you and your people. Let's be professional, yes? Look, they're not my people. Banner's besties hired me to find him or his biomon. That's it. No, 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 wait. You're a merc, yes? I was doing my job just like you. You understand? I have a proposition. Please, hear me out. All right, you have... Yeah, three seconds. <laughs> I'm listening. Go. I have Banner's biomonitor. You are reasonable, so I give it to you. There's also a stash in Dogtown with my gear. I give you coordinates, okay? There a catch? No catch. You let me go, that is all. What do you care about some banner? Mm -hmm. I'm interested in the cash. Okay. Deal. Flip me the cords. Sending now. And you? Better Delta. Yes. Yes. Спасибо. We'll pretend I killed you. Supposed to be the... Drop point did not give it to him. That is this about. Oh, I need to try out this uh, pistol thing. This thing only has 20 shots in it. Uh, which is really probably not that 
great for a submachine gun. But is it quiet? I guess we'll test it out here. Oh, apparently I need to go... Huh? Uh-oh. -uh. There's a job, V. A journalist, Bree Whitney, has fled into Dogtown. I need you to look after her. She fled? Means I gotta keep her tucked away? No. Bree has a lead. You're to help her complete her investigation. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Think she actually dug something up, or is it just garden variety paranoia? One doesn't exclude the other. Besides, I wouldn't call discretion paranoia. It's a safety measure. The reason, I would contend, why the client has yet to provide a rendezvous point. You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. And no, do not say this card, what's it open? I simply don't know. Contact me once this is sorted. You'll learn more details then. Okay, well, let me finish what I was doing here. Silent, silent stare for a moment. What are you doing, you freak? <laughs> yeah, you call me a freak. Yeah. All right. All right, I guess I'll do this one too. I don't plan on this being as long of a stream as the last time, so I'll do this gig and then. That'll probably be it. Are you fucking high? I, have, I, have, I have a bit of a headache here. Another shrimp. I don't want to stream three hours here today. Let's try this out here. Yeah, th this is not really a silenced weapon, is it? People are still gonna know I hit them with an SMG. Okay, well. It's not, not that great of a weapon, to be honest. <laughs>
need, need more, need more blue. Need more blue. Hanson's rabid brutes are at it again. Remember 75? Wasn't as bad as this. Uh, I guess Twitch is being a little Twitch is being a little crusty. It's not me though. My connection is fine right now. Listen to the lamentations of their women. Sorry for interrupting. Name's V. Hands send me. Brianna, I take it? That's right. Martha. This man here? He'll help us. I'll give you some space. Okay? Yes. Go. Sorry. Emotions are running high right now. Before we start, need to understand who you are. Where from? Life in Dogtown? Know it well? Time's a factor here. Quicker you tell me about the killer, quicker I can get to doing what I do best. Indulge me, hmm? It's a trust thing. Spent years working for Arasaka. Years shaved off my life working for a corp. But Dogtown? Only exists because someone stands to profit. It's a combat zone, not a place to raise a family. Folks are here because they got nowhere else to go. That's you introduced. I'm Brianna. Six years back, the Tigers came after me, so I ran. Landed here. For most of us, our past doesn't amount to more than that. Running, surviving, which is why... I want to make sure that for once, the eddies we scraped together will buy us justice. Real justice. How'd you put together the scratch for this? All of us here, we pitched in. We've suffered enough. Justice? Means what to you exactly? Definitions vary. Want to hear your take? Leon Rinder doesn't deserve to live. He was a triggerman for Hansen. A murderer. All too familiar with that brand of justice. Good for you. Doesn't change Rinder killing Martha's son, Jason, along with his friends and four other residents. Jason, Caleb, Deontay, Omar, Pharrell, Matthias, Elisa, and Tamika. Why would Rinder be meeting with Jason? Any idea? All I know is that Jason was supposed to put Rinder in touch with the Scavs. Scavengers? Jason happened to be involved in some unsavory biz? He was a young man trying to get by in Dogtown. Wasn't no angel, but his heart was in the right place. Martha made sure of that. Rinder's not a Barget soldier anymore. Why? No clue. All I know is he's brutal. Cold-blooded. A beast. What's his connection to Hansen? He joined when Hansen set up shop in Dogtown. Carried out orders no one else dared take, according to rumor. Surely even Bargas doesn't let murderers walk free, dodge consequences. Have to catch him first. Told them what happened, but as usual, they simply don't care. Martha's boy, Jason, he wanted to become a fixer. He set up some deal, brought Rinder to the stacks. But there was a dispute. Rinder opened fire and, well, was still scrubbing the blood off the walls. Identified the bodies by their implants. I see. Found this in Jason's body. It's encrypted, but I'm sure you can manage. 
Feel free to look around. Investigate. There's still plenty of... Uh, traces. What's on the data shard? I don't know, but I'm betting that whatever Jason did for Rinder, it'll have details. Hang in there, Brianna. I will. And remember, we're paying you for justice. Seventeen people's hard-earned cash. It's not given lightly. I'll keep it in mind. Rinder's dog tag. Bring it to me. It'll serve as a reminder to this pack of thugs that we're capable of fighting back. I'll do my best. Yeah, 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 crash security. What do we got here? Uh, let's see. High five. Lady. Lady. High five, BD, BD, stuff. Investigate the area. Shit. It's really soaked in there. I don't know. Someone's been collecting different kinds of lead here. I'll have someone bring us something stronger. When I was little, after shootouts, we'd race to collect any casings we could find. Traded them between ourselves. Must be some kid's stash. Doesn't tell me anything about Rinder, but I can't complain about knowing a little piece of Johnny Silverhand's childhood. Marks like these. I'm thinking 50 cal rounds. Mark 31 HMG. Heavier than a motherfucker lead spitter that did this. Hauling it with a Gannick arm? Not a chance. Classic go-to for Militech Marines. Ex-soldiers like Rinder. Scan didn't pick up traces of other rounds, which would make him the lone shooter. Ryan, do take it out on the ground or something? Not his fist. See the blood? Indentation? Took some poor fucker's head and bashed it. Repeatedly. Just like he went berserk. See these combat souls? Must have run up, boosted on the roof of this shack, bashed his leg against a railing. It's a 10 foot jump for a man who's got to weigh at least 360 pounds, even dino prints like these. So either we're witnessing the fattest fuck who ever jumped, or Rinder's got augmented hamstrings on top of being crumbed up like a goddamn tank. It's a riddle, all right. Seems you're looking for a borged out killing machine that's lost all self control. Sounds about right. I just like it. Oh, it's out in the Pacific. Okay.
Listen, man. I I, I can hook you up. I know. Dog tags. Dead. Not this time. Now go on, get out of here. Get out of here. Assassination time. Ready or not, here I come. <gasps> this is where Rinder came to do biz? An abandoned motel, crawling with organ cleppers. Wonder if we'll find him on the first floor. Or on all of them. Chopped into little bits. This uh, th this goes back all the way to the mission where he rescued rescued Sandra Dorset. This uh, th this uh, explains the chip that was used to prevent her prevent trauma team from getting to her. <laughs> oh yeah, and they're talking about Sandra Dorset here. Interesting little uh, tidbit. Ryan is lead spitter. He got here all right. Uh-huh. I don't you have to say, Johnny. Uh-huh.
ты уехал, блин. Пожить где-нибудь нормально. Если ты уедешь, кто ж тут останется? Как это? One of the Borgus vests got Rinder written on it. And prices on its arms and legs. Scavs sold them for parts? No clue. Only thing we do know is the fucker cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> Funny. Hilarious. Let's just find him. His dog tag, whatever's left of him. You need some dice of him instead of your aim. So much garbage in here.
silent. Silent as a mouse. Experience the NUSA's biggest roller coaster, the Mega Ride. The Mega Ride. Oh, wait. Not our guy. Stains. Almost fresh. Looks like they carved someone up here recently. Guts on the walls, blood on the floor, optical on the table. Interior decoration. Scav edition. Being cautious, I don't think there's anybody up here. Ooh, this is scavenger, freshly operated. How cold, it's still breathing. Not a second of these sickos waste. Chrome from their victims' bodies hasn't even cooled before they're chipping it. Yeah. Oh well. It's a scav. Fuck him. That behind this door, it's gonna be. Ah! Let me look around a little more. Yeah, let's not have you wake up. That would be ill advised. Your arm's fallen off. What are you gonna do? Bleed on me? <laughs> I'm the Black Knight. I'm never defeated. Come here, you coward. Come back and fight me. See what's behind the door. 
What the? Who are you? Did you know I was supposed to kill? Oh, this, oh, this guy's still alive. Somehow he is still alive. Half, half of his head missing. Hey, hey, relax, Trum. Let's talk this through. Not about to off an unarmed man, are you? Well... Say something. Folks over the stacks, send their regards. Fuck them. And fuck you. <clears throat> All right, job is done. Dolphins are people. What the hell? Who's, who, who's eating dolphins? I don't know what happened there. It felt like my bike kind of, kind of geared to the right for some reason there. <laughs> to the wall. It wasn't my fault, it was the hairy hands. The hairy hands took control of my bike and speared it off. Is that 
Done? Ranger's dead? You didn't let us down, did you? Found Rinder in Pacifica. Dealt with him. Then the son of a bitch got what he deserved. On behalf of all the residents of the Stacks, thank you. It's the least I could do. We see the target. Is he terminated? Yes. Took care of him. Yes. Congratulations, then. Contract closed. You're gone, I heard. We're never there. And I've had enough of the lies. A moment of All right. silence for Stan and the rest. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. I got a better idea. Let's see. Next time. Whatever you. Breeze apart. Is that a gig or a side mission? Oh, I still gotta go to the stash. Actually, no. Before before I quit here, let me find the stash here. Go out on the street and give them a thousand guns. Let's let's see what this is. And then I'll then I'll stop for today. Find it. Oh, I have to find it. There is something good in here. Uh, answering for pay, you know. Some money in there. All right. Tomorrow will never end. All right. So I think this is just a gig from. Is that a gig? I think that's a gig from Mr. Hands. That's a side job. There's more stuff to do back in Night City. Um. Main. I mean the main game. I might go back and maybe spend some time in the next part doing some of these other quests. I, I need to do chipping in. I need to get that done so I can get Johnny's stuff. Um, I know, I'm, I'm tempted to do the party thing. But I may have to. I, I need to spend the part and do some of the other stuff in Act 32 because I don't want to I don't want to rush through the Phantom Liberty stuff, so I'll think about it. next time. We'll see. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. I mean, today, whatever. And I will continue this on our time. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.